just uh, we had a fantastic we had a fantastic um, discussion. Uh, the question that I put was: uh, Do people spend a lot of time building a business case for engaging with Twitter before your first tweet, or do you go under the radar of management, uh, or somewhere in between? Like Lee, I think, sort of you do both at the same time. You sort of tweet, you listen, you learn, you, you tweet, and you kind of you pass on learnings as you as you go go along. Uh, to start at the, um, I'll start at the end actually, where we finished off, with, which was a message to all of you really, that you are the internal champions for promoting this stuff. It is, you have the responsibilities now to going back to your charities and dragging them into the 21st century. Uh, a lot of what we talked about was, um, a bit of what we talked about was the risk aversion that charities uh, are yeah, not, not the only ones who suffer from risk aversion, but uh, we do that particularly well. Um, but it doesn't always make sense. So we, we've someone talked about you know frontline work, front you know, frontline staff for your charity will go to events, festivals, and you know talk about uh, their passion for your course, and yet that person might not be allowed to um, tweet, or in one case, Twitter will be blocked. You know, access to Twitter will be blocked from your from your charity. Uh, that did touch on who tweets. You know, who tweets for your organisation, and and sustaining that. Um, I'll just chip in something that uh, is a personal kind of hobby horse of mine or a cause, if you like, which is that it should be in everyone's job description that they spend twenty or thirty minutes every day. Uh, engaging with your communities where your supporters are, whether that's on Twitter or your discussion forum or whatever it is, it should be in everyone's job description, including the people in finance. Uh, we did talk a little bit about some of the kind of the stories, the, 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 the few examples, I suppose, of where things have gone wrong on Twitter. There was the Habitat intern case relatively recently where they kind of hijacked uh, a, a hashtag which reflected rather badly on, on um, Habitat. That's the retail store. Um, but you know, the, me the media tend to pick up on those uh, negative examples and some people, the naysayers, use that as an excuse for uh, they ignore all the possible opportunities. When I say ignore, we talk about ROI as return on ignoring. You know, can you afford not to be on Twitter if that's where some of your supporters are? Uh, the embrace the messiness. You know, a few years ago, you just just have, used to have to bother about your corporate website, maybe Google, and now you've got all these you know myriad of social networks, and there's new ones popping up all the time, and other ones dying, and who knows what's going to be cropping up in six months' time. Just embrace it. It's the new normal. Go with the go with the flow. Um, what else do we have here? Guys? Oh, my. Well, perhaps I'm the only one who can read my writing. I, I heard oh, somebody really good... tweet that, that it's the new normal. I thought that was a great catch. Um, ben, ben here came up with a really good point about if it transpires that for some individuals their favoured form of communication or interaction with you as fundraisers say <laughs> is through Twitter, you know, do you, do you capture that in your, you know, razor's edge or whatever, or whatever your mechanism for, for capturing that, that kind of um, relation, the relationships you have with your fundraisers or donors is, which took us back to something, an event that ha Howard and I were at with, with John in York, where you said that we're all used to having donor development plans, but should we have fundraiser development plans? For Because we're often talking about fundraisers who uh, raise money for you as opposed, on Twitter, as opposed to sort of uh, traditional donors. Uh, the, sh the shift in in uh, the giving experience. I think that's pretty much everything I've got in there. And I did keep to one sheet. Wow. Oh, it's quite green.